guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to come on today and do a project share with you and um, a little craft with me and then just some suggestions on um, how to store this item. So what I'm showing you today are these friendship beads. Um, I believe that these resurfaced, resurfaced because of a Jen Hatfield collection and she had some friendship um, pins on there. These remind me of the 80s when I grew up and we did seed beads on pins and put them on our shoes, but um, I love that they came back. So I am having the best time making these. Um, I wanted to show you a couple of supplies that I got. I ordered these pins off of Amazon and I'll put the links below, but they are two inch pins, you can see, and or you can get three inch pins and these are what they looked like. I liked it. Be I liked them because they kind of had the fancier head to them. You can see it looks like that, but you can just use a regular safety pin. And actually, I might do some with regular safety pins because these um, rods right here are thick, and you can't fit like a seed bead through it. Um, it's too thick. So um, I had to kind of get creative with the beads that I had and use those. But I think with seed beads, I think you would have so many more color options. It's a way less expensive option. But um, let me show you what I did. So I'll just go through and show you some that I made and then I'll go through and put one together for you. So I took out some of the words that I have. I have a whole container here of letters, actually not words. Um, so I've got these small ones, which I used on some. I've got these silver ones, which I didn't use on anything. I have the black larger ones that I tend to use around Halloween. And then I have these white ones with gold letters. Um, and then I just have some other charms in here. Some of the other things that I used is these um, Heishi beads. I was able to use these spacers to put some color in it. So that was kind of fun to use. But I took my letters and I spelled out some words. So this one is sweet. Um, with the Heishi beads, I did like a rainbow color. I added two little charms to the end. One is just a little lollipop, and that is from, I think that is actually from Hobby, no, Joann's. And um, it came in a, a package of other just little sweet charms on it. And then I just added this blue and green bead as well. So that is what that one looks like. Um, this one I love. So I used like a peachy pink color in the Heishi um, spacer beads. I put a clear seed bead on the end of each one. Um, this one has a butterfly in the teal color or aqua color. I have a green. This one kind of reminds me of a leaf. So that's why I used that one. And then I have just a floral dangle charm right there. So that's what that one looks like. I was really into these soft colors. So here's a smaller one. The smaller one, you're not gonna be able to fit very many letters on. I'm trying to see if I made one. So this is a smaller one. I was able to fit four letters on there in the smallest um, letter bead that I have, and I wasn't able to put any kind of bead before or after it. So you could do a three letter word and add a bead on each side as well, but this one is just four letters and that's, I'll show you this one while I have it out. This was just a pink little heart that I added and then a white, um, bead and then some Heishi beads there. I think I'm saying that right. I think it's Heishi beads. So that one says love. This one is a bow. I did order some bows off Amazon when I ordered the pins just because I had seen Crafty Hilo Girl. I'll link her videos down below. This is actually where I got my immediate inspiration from. Like I said, I saw the Jen Hatfield ones, but when she did these, she she added these bows to it and they were so cute. So I got this huge pack and it was fairly inexpensive. So I'll, I'll link this down below as well. So this one just has the bow in the middle and then I added just this little tool pom-pom and I had picked these up from, um, I think this was an AliExpress purchase. And then I just added a white little butterfly to it. So that one is simple. So those are my small ones there. Here's another small one with a bow. This one is very similar to this one, just different colors. So I did a pink, two-tone pink tool pom-pom there, a little pink butterfly, and then um, two tones of the pink Heishi beads, and then the bow in there. So I have those. Here's another version of it. I guess I really liked this, this pattern and I was going for it. So I have the white tool pom-pom here. I have the 
aqua color butterfly. And then I have the bowl with the um, Heishi beads there. And then this one I thought was fun. This is like a B one. So I took the black and white letters and I wrote buzz. And then I have four of these spacer beads on each side. I have three yellow and a white one. And then I did a honeycomb charm, a bead charm, and then a just pink fuzz charm. So that hangs off there. I thought that would be a fun addition to like a um, uh, memory decks card or a pocket letter. That one. And then I created two Halloween ones because I love working with these black letters. So here I added three spacer beads. I had these orange beads in my collection. I added the word boo. Then I added a little witch charm that I had got from Joann's last year on clearance. And then just an orange and black bead there. So I thought that one is cute for Halloween. And then this one also for Halloween, I did a Frankenstein, which was the color inspiration, but then I did a green bead, a black bead, the spacer beads and the word eek. And this one is really tight too. So I was kind of pushing it by adding those seed beads to the end. And these were the beads I was saying don't fit very well. I had to go through quite a few beads before I found the one that fit on this thick post. So then I added the little Frankenstein and then a little white and black bead there as well. So that's that one. So I thought I would make one for you. I wanted to make one for my journal. Um, so I already kind of know what I'm going to do in my journal. So I just want to match the um, spread that I'm doing. So I've got the word bloom. I've got four little Heishi spacer beads in yellow. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that. I've got a white butterfly a yellow flower and a green like leaf. So I think I'm gonna kind of make it look like this one. This is kind of what I'm copying here. So I'm gonna just take my three inch one, just open it up and I'm gonna start with, oh, I need the, this one has two clear balls on the end. Let me grab those. So those are from one of these bead kits um, from, I think this one was from um, Hobby Lobby. And I got it 50% off. So you see that was the original price. And like I said, beads were 50% off when I bought it. But this is a nice one to have. It's got some smaller beads in all different colors. Um, so I'm just gonna grab two of these little clear balls here. Okay, so I'm gonna start by putting that on. Then I'll go two spacer beads. And then I'm gonna spell my word backwards. So I'm gonna start with my M. Okay, found two O's that fit. So I'm gonna put the two O's on. The L. And the B. Then I'm going to do what I did over here, just backwards. So I'm going to put the two spacer beads on. And I'm going to end with the clear ball. And I'm going to put that on there. So there is the word bloom. And you don't have to add any dangles. I think they look cute just like this, but for some reason I'm really enjoying adding the dangles. So what you're gonna need is a larger jump ring though. So this one is the one I'm gonna use to connect it to the pin. And then I'm gonna put my charms on in a specific order. I kind of want the largest one in the back and then the medium one to rest on top of that and then the butterfly to rest on top of all of them. So put this one on first, like that. Then I'm gonna put the green leaf-like one on, and then finally the white butterfly. So it looks like that. And now I'm going to put it on my pin. I'm just trying to make sure that it is on there correct. Close these up. Okay, so that one 
is finished. So super cute and easy. I cannot wait to start sending these in friend mail. So one of the questions that I think people are asking is like, what do you do with them after you get them? Because you can't attach them to anything um, with the safety pin side. Um, so you have to find another way to do it. So this um, is an example that I had gotten from Rebecca Hoot on YouTube. She had taken one of these and she does a lot of junk journals. And um, she took her junk journal and she took some ribbon. So I've got two ribbons here and you're gonna want kind of a thicker ribbon something that's a little sturdier. So this, you know, has some weight to it. This definitely does, this is felt and it's got like a sticker on the back actually, it's sticky. Um, and she, let me cut this here. She folded it over the edge of her page and adhered it. So it would be something like this. And then the charm hung off it like that. So I could hot glue this on, I could, um, you know, just use the sticker part, but like when the, when it's closed, like how cute is that to be used as a tab? So that is definitely a really cute way to use it. Let me try it with the, with the white just to see how it holds up. You know, you just have a little, maybe like two inches of fabric, so an inch on each side. You could attach that with a staple even if you wanted to, but you just slide it in there and attach that. And, and this is what it would look like. So again, I thought that was a really cute way to do it, to um, use them in a functional way. Um, another thing that I wanted to show you, I picked up both of these at Michael's. They were both $3.99. One is a set of three necklaces, necklace ring bases, and these are like a, a wire. So let me take this off. It's, um, it's called cording. It is a necklace. These are 17 and a half inches around. Like I said, you get three of them. Um, so it looks like this. So it's almost gonna act as a large like um, binder ring. So when you unscrew this here, You've got, you know, this little opening, and this is how you screw it on. You could, well, let's see how I'd want to do this, because I have dangles on mine. I think I would string it up by the top end, but you could string it through this bottom end as well. But let me string these on and see what this looks like. So you could just start your collection, putting them on. Close that back up. And, it, oh, I did put one on. I put one on upside down, nope. There we go. So you could just hang this in your craft area and display them that way. So you can see them all on there. Um, another thing I found that's not as large, so this would hold quite a few. Um, I found these bangles. Uh, again, three pieces. They are from Bead Landing. These were from Hobby, or from Michael's as well, sorry. Um, let me open these up and see what they look like on here. So this again would be just like another larger binder ring. So this has an opening like this. It's got the hook and the eye. There's, it's gonna go in like that. Eye of it does go down in there and you could put them on with the dangle as well. I just like to see the dangle dangling. Um, so let me take this off. So I'm gonna put mine on this way. And I like that this is gold and that the pins that I used to work gold. I think it looks nice. Then you close that up and again you could just hang that in your craft room and you can display them that way. Um, one thing I was playing around with that I just don't think would work um, is 
I had bought these um, business card holders by mistake with a grocery order from Walmart. I thought I was ordering the, actually I did order the baseball cards. They were out of stock and they substituted these, but I was wondering if you'd be able to like use it somehow. I just put some pa paper in there, you know, if you could. Let's see, you know, if you could store them in there somehow and keep them in a binder. I don't know, it's just something that I was kind of playing around with. You, know, you could do it by theme, it might be cute. You know, I have these florals in there. Yeah, I mean, it definitely gets bulky, but I was just, like I said, just kind of thinking of other, other things you could do with it. Um, and then the final thing, you know, suggestion, I just got a mason jar here. And I think they look kind of cool. You know, just like that. You could just display them on your desk in a jar like that. I think that's cute too. Anyway, I am like addicted to these things. They're so easy to make. They're so colorful. They're so cute. And I think you can do them for any occasion to match any theme. Um, just have fun with them. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.